Yeah. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics on V103. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. I do believe we have a battle. After trading shots on wax and going back and forth on social media, things kind of got real over the weekend. Well, really, just last night. I was out of the country. I didn't even know there was a Duppy Freestyle. Someone pointed it out to me. I had to listen to it. I was like, wow. Y'all better leave Aubrey alone. Little did I know when I got back into America last night. Pusha T released the story of Adonis. She calls out Drizzy's family on a three-minute diss track featuring Pusha over Jay-Z's story of OJ. Some of the highlights? Oh, he took some shots at his longtime collaborator, 40. Talked about Birdman and Cash Money Sading and County practices. But this next little clip right here pretty much sums up the household. You mentioned wedding ring like it's a bad thing. Your father walked away at five, hell of a dad thing. Marriage is something that Sandy never had, Drake. How you a winner, but she keep coming in last place. Monkey suit, Dennis, you parade him. A Steve Harvey suit, a made him. Confused, always felt you weren't black enough. Afraid to grow it, cause your fro wouldn't nap enough. Since you name drop my fiance, let them know who you chose as your Beyonce. Sophie knows better as your baby mother. Cleaned her up for IG, but the stench is on her. A baby's involved, it's deeper than rap. We talking character, let me keep with the facts. You are hiding a child, let that boy come home. Deadbeat motherfucker playing Border Patrol. Ooh. Wow. That's how you felt? Clearly. Why so serious, Pusha T? Said he told, uh, once that Drake mentioned his fiance, Virginia Williams, which I was in the dark about, I kept saying, there's got to be something about this Virginia Williams thing. Now, I know that this fiance, he said, all bets were off. You know what else he said? He may or may not be done. In your smart lock. I don't got no skeletons. I don't have any skeletons that are like, I, nothing. It is what it is. I'm not going to bully this situation because I feel like it's, I think it's bigger questions now, though. I really do. But I definitely feel that there are bigger questions than the things that I brought up. And I mean, that he has to answer. And I mean, right. I really feel like they need to be answered. That's, that's real. We talked about the writing or whatever, the ghostwriting allegations. All right, cool. We all that. Now you get to like, you know, you, the, 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 I don't, I'm not ready to excuse that. I'm not really ready to excuse, you know, you talking multi-millionaire talk to me and, and, and you tucking a baby. Like, mm. I'm not with all of that. So like, I don't, listen, I don't even, I don't even hang with my friends who have child support issues. Wow. <laughs> well, damn. This on the fringe of all of that. So 40 weighed in. The day that the track dropped was National MS Day. 40 has multiple sclerosis. 40 said, MS made me a stronger person and motivated me to help me find success despite it. MS can't stop me. Within in hours of hearing Pusha T's uh, lie, he said, while well, everyone is checking his Twitter waiting a response, he posted coincidentally, tomorrow's world like, wow. Now, Onto the cover photo. Everyone's like, what? Is this Photoshop? No. Here's the truth. Photo with Drake is his face painted obsidian. It's real. Photographer who took the photo in 2008, confirmed it to be real, and was sitting on his website for years without controversy. Taken as a part of a lookbook for a clothing line called Two Black Guys. The research says it was a summer lookbook for the line, featured racial overtones, and doing the Jim Crow theme. Drake's t shirt idea came from. That's where it came from. According to the site, the lie was intended to represent the black experience in an unapologetic way. Pe people still calling the photo distasteful. Lupe Fiasco saying the photos were just two out of six and told and, and that told the whole story of Drake going from happy to sad and to get up wearing a t-shirt. Pusha apparently cropped it off to make Drake look racist. I suggest you do your homework. I don't like the picture, but I don't know. In the meantime, so many layers to this. Did you know the Whitney Houston estate is mad at Pusha T? Not because of the disc record, but because of the cover of his Daytona album. Apparently the photo is the music icon's drug-laden bathroom photo, which Kanye paid $85,000 for the use of. 
It's like, are you going to use? I mean, this is crazy, people. Crazy. And last but certainly not least, this is six degrees of separation. Lil Baby, album is popping out here. They be really, really, really high on the 200 top 200 uh, um, Billboard chart. Drake's all over it. It's a good look. I don't know what's going to happen next, but I so is waiting. Hit up vdas103.com for more details. More Big Ticket Show right now.